In the book of Luke, the angel appears to Mary to announce what God is intending with Mary. We'll look at that a little bit later, but for now, at the very end of that declaration of the angel, the angel said, what's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. Nothing is impossible with God. Mary, after the angel leaves, hurries and goes from Galilee, where she lived, to the hill country of Judea, where Zechariah and Elizabeth lived. Now, it's probable that Joseph took her there. They were, by this time, already betrothed, and we'll look at that also uh, next week. Luke chapter 1, verse 39, a few days later, Mary hurried to the hill country of Judea, to the town where Zechariah lived. She entered the house and greeted Elizabeth, and at the sound of Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's child leaped within her. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a great cry and exclaimed to Mary, God has blessed you above all women, and your child is blessed. Why am I so honored that the mother of my Lord should visit me? When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. You're blessed because you believe that the Lord would do what he said. Amazing story here. Mary goes to visit her relative Elizabeth. We're not sure exactly of the lineage. Uh, Elizabeth is, um, uh, according to uh, Luke before, of the uh, line of Aaron. Her husband is a priest. Mary is of the line of Judah. But apparently, back far enough that people could remember, there was a crossing of that line. Somebody from the tribe of Aaron married somebody from the tribe of Judah. And Mary and Elizabeth ended up being related. Mary goes to visit Elizabeth and John the Baptist. Six-month-old fetus jumps for joy. Elizabeth knows right away that something special has happened to Mary, and she states it. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months. That would have meant that she stayed until John was born. She was there to help Elizabeth during uh, the last three months of her pregnancy. And she saw the birth of John the Baptist. By now, her own fetus is three months old and she's beginning to show. Joseph comes to pick her up, sees that she's three months pregnant. Next week, we'll look back at the book of Matthew and see some of the turmoil that this caused Joseph, bringing now his pregnant fiancé home to Galilee.